Good day friends, it is me HL Mod Tech and I am back with another Tinkercad tutorial. So let's get cracking. Friends, we are starting on my website hlmodtech.com. I've got a page dedicated to Tinkercad, tons of amazing lessons, and then also down at the bottom a sweet built-in messaging tool. Friends, you can click that button, add your information and reach out to me almost instantly. Friends, I also want to highlight the Tinkercad community discord. This is a join link. As you can see, we have over 300 members and it is a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. I show you all that, friends, because a user reached out to me using that sort of comment and they asked me how can we make trapezoidal text. So I came up with a strategy. First, I'm going to call this trap text and I'm going to put a two after it and then I'm going to find some text. Now, there is text right here, but I want to highlight the new search tool. Notice we can click here and if you type script, it gives you the awesome script text. I think you should make it a favorite so it's easy to get it back. So friends, the nice thing about this script text is of course you've got script, but you've also got all these other styles as well. I'm gonna switch to stencil just for fun and let me show you my strategy for making this text the user asked for. So I'm gonna first put a cool word here. I'm gonna choose HL Mod Tech. Notice that this one does all capitals, so I'm gonna cancel that out. Let's go to one that has both. Nope, that one stays all caps too. Let's try major snafu. All capitals. Let's see what happens if we go to the calligraphy. That one's all, no, that one does have smaller letters. So this I think will be more interesting. We're gonna set the height to 0.5 and press enter. We're gonna click on the snap grid and we're gonna make it 0.1. Friends, the way we're gonna do this is control D and we're gonna do control up one, two, three. So it raised it up just a little bit. Now you're gonna take two fingers and you're gonna hold alt and shift and you're just gonna squeeze it in from one of these sides just a tiny bit. I'm gonna do then control D again and again and notice it raises up and to the middle to make epic trapezoid text. How slick is that? If you do control D, it'll keep raising up. As long as you don't click anywhere else, it does not cancel. Now those would all be separate letters, so you'd have to join something to the bottom so that it was 3D printable, but it is pretty darn fun and it looks pretty cool. Let's do another one. I'm gonna hit my more shapes and see if I can get all the way down to where that script was. There it is. This time I'm gonna stay with script and let's just type a different word. Let's type hello. Once again, we're gonna make it 0.5 so it's thin. Control D, control up twice. So what we did was we moved in 0.2 millimeters. Then we're gonna do that Alt Shift and I'm gonna do F to fit view. So here's Alt Shift and you'll see it squeeze in just a little bit. You can pick how much. So that's just a little tiny nudge right there. I'm not touching anything else. And Control D again and again and again. And it raises up to make that cool word. And this one, because we use script, is even cooler because they stay connected. All right, friends, so that is the skill. But I want to do one more thing just because I think it's going to look pretty awesome. I want you to take all of one of those words and I want you to make it a whole. I want you to bring out a block. So let's go back to our basic shapes. And we're just going to take this solid block and we're going to stretch it across so it's the same size. A little bit larger, but not a lot. To make sure they all line up, I'm just gonna do a line, make the red one the boss, and do center and center. If you wanna see inside real quick, you can hit T for transparent. You can see that did not mess it up at all. Everything still looks groovy. I am gonna shrink this down so it's closer to the same height. There it pops out, boom. So now we've got that as a template. Friends, this is what's kinda cool. If you group this, you have now got that trapezoid cut out. Now it's complicated. The more pieces you add, the longer you're gonna have to wait. I'm gonna hit T. There you can see mine just finished. So now it's back to a solid. And then I'm gonna turn that into a hole. So then friends, we need to find the awesome gradients. Watch this. If you go down to design starters, there are some given to us. If we hit more shapes and more shapes and more shapes, you will eventually find them down near the bottom. There they are. I am gonna use this one right here. It's a vertical one. I'm going to stretch it so that it fits my word. 
and I'm going to make sure it's inside the box on every side. So that way it's inside. Friends, let's do select. Let's do a line and choose middle and middle and wait patiently after we hit group to see what we just made. And when I say wait patiently, I really, really wait patiently. But look at that. We have got the word hello with awesome gradients. Isn't that awesome? Real quickly, friends, let's do control D. I'm going to pull that aside and I'm going to ungroup it. I'm going to delete that gradient. Let's bring out the other gradient. Same trick. I'm going to shrink it down so it fits. There it's inside that side. Let's squeeze it in that way and squeeze it in this way. And let's do one more of these cool gradients. Once again, we can quickly hit a line and middle and friends. Let's group. This time I'll turn on some super speed and let's see what we built with the gradients going this way. Oh my gosh, friends. Hello with fun gradients. How cool is that? Friends, real quickly, I want to remind you that we used Alt-Shift to go around the center of a shape. We also used Control-D and Nudge so that it saved those settings and made the awesome shape. And most of all, I want to thank Andrew for asking the question that sent us down this path. Friends, remember, if you ever have a comment or a question, you can, of course, ask it below the video. You can also visit hlmodtech.com, find my Tinkercad tab, and then down at the bottom is the sweet built-in messaging tool. You can click that button, add your information or question, and reach out to me almost instantly. Don't forget there is also the Tinkercad Community Discord. It is a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad, and then I also want to highlight the Designer Showcase. There are profiles from so many amazing users here. When you click them, friends, they are sorted by like. I highly recommend Men, you switch to sorting by latest check out their cool designs and of course make sure you give them feedback on the items that you think are awesome finally friends if you enjoyed this video please give it a like please also hit that share button so more people can learn about hl mod tech of course if you got a question comment or suggestion add it down below and if you haven't subscribed yet what are you waiting for smash that subscribe button and last but not least hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me HL Montech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.